25th of December is it based on pagan celebrations where the church tried to assimilate to get the pagans to celebrate Christmas and to stop going door to door singing in the new. The Roman pagans celebrated the Di Natalis Solus Invicti or birthday of the unconquered sun on the 25th of December. There was also the week long festival of Saturnalia which celebrated the passing of the winter solstice. This was where gift giving was introduced and for some unknown reason going house to house singing in their birthday suits in the middle of winter. Everyone says the Roman Christians at the time saw these celebrations and thought well if they can replace these celebrations and make them a little bit more wholesome they could influence people to celebrate Jesus' birth and not the Roman gods. Clothes would have been a start. In 274 AD, the Roman Emperor Valerian declared December the 25th the birthday of Sol Invictus, the unconquerable sun. However, in 202 AD, Saint Hippolytus wrote in the commentary on Daniel that Jesus' birth is on December the 25th. In 221 AD, Julius Africanus wrote that Jesus was conceived on March the 25th. That's nine months before Christmas. And it was uncontested in the early part of the 4th century. The celebration of the sun god wasn't instituted by the Roman Emperor Aurelian until 274 AD around 70 years after the fact, with Christians already celebrating the birth of Jesus firmly in place. The church is always stated as trying to influence the Roman pagan traditions and trying to make it Christianized. However, evidence shows that it's the other way around. The Romans attempted to paganize the Christian celebrations. Christianity was persecuted from the Roman Emperor Nero in 64 AD right through to the Emperor Constantine in 313 AD, which is where the Edict of Milan was signed and persecution was made no longer. The church had still to wait another 10 years before it was made a state religion. During the year 274 AD, 39 years before all of this, the persecutions were still happening. So suggesting that the Christians would have had any influence on the pagan celebrations just doesn't add up. One thing is for sure, Jesus was born. He is a real person and evidence in and out of the Bible states that a person named Jesus, the Messiah, did exist. I don't think the date of Jesus' birth really matters. What matters most is that long before all of this in the Old Testament it was prophesied that Jesus was born starting off a chain of events that was to lead us to the cross and John 3.16. So take care this Christmas, do something awesome for God and I will catch you in the next one.